message from all the children in the USA. That song was the second place winner in the Wake Up Music contest by the Plunkets called Dreams You Give, and it received uh, something like over 600,000 votes. So congratulations to uh, Brian Plunkett from Halfway, Missouri. Mike, you set a new record, uh, 380 days in space. How can anybody possibly beat you? Well, uh, the uh, the Russians have had uh, people in space for uh, you know up to you know 800 days in their career, so I got a long way to go. And uh, but I'm sure there's uh, other people who are going to fly in our office uh, more than one long duration space mission. And I hope my record is uh, soon broken. And I hope it just becomes a kind of a ripple in the whole uh, scheme of history as humans go on, Americans go on to explore uh, the rest of the solar system. But in the meantime, I'm glad to share the moments with these guys. All right, you astronauts. Uh all right, you got about uh, 10 seconds to explain to me exactly what the uh, alpha magnetic spectrometer d does for us in trying to find the origins of the universe. Go ahead. Well, it's, you know, it's, there's some really uh, amazing uh, things that, that it's trying to figure out. You know, Hubble, Hubble for us, one of the important things Hubble figured out was that the universe is not only expanding, but at, a, at an accelerated rate. And our understanding of how that could be with, with mass, you know, when mass uh, attracts and should be pulling things back together, um, we clearly don't understand uh, the, the mass that's out there. And about 4% of the, of the mass is the, is the matter that we understand. And then there's other kinds of matter that we're trying to figure out. And uh, one of those we, we call dark matter because uh, physicists don't really understand what it is. And uh, this is uh, understanding what the universe is, the universe we live in, uh, how it all got here, how it was formed. Uh, these are fundamental questions. And uh, this is what AMS is going to be uh, trying to understand for us. My first of four space flights was as Endeavour's pilot on STS-108 in December 2001. Our mission is returning from the International Space Station after Endeavour's 12th visit to the orbiting laboratory. There, people from many nations have served continuously in successive crews since November of 2000, teaching and learning from one another about interactions and about how best to do things in this harsh environment. If you ask me what I think Endeavor's legacy would be, I'd have to say, well, first being a part of the mainstay, the workhorse of the space program, uh, the space shuttle for the last 30 years, Endeavor was a big part of that. But also Endeavor had the unique distinction of bringing up the very first piece of the International Space Station, and then by installing the uh, orbiter boom uh, system on top, for use uh, for the station's arm to extend its robotic arm, the uh, Endeavour brought up the last piece of the space station as well. So uh, I think Endeavour's legacy would be that she was a very important part of the assembly of the space station from beginning to end, and also to me personally because I had my first date on Endeavour and I'm having my last date with Endeavour.